Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's episode is going to be a coffee time with me slash sharing embarrassing stories. I am prepared to sell my soul to give you guys a good laugh. I've got my Starbucks coffee. I was gonna make my own this morning, but it just worked out that I went and got one. But I'm just going to jump right into it. <laughs> okay, so the first one. I need to give you a little bit of a background on sheer back spots. So in stunting, there's four positions if you're doing just a traditional four person stunt. There's co-ed, there's whatever. But the one I'm talking about is there's two bases, a flyer, and a back. Cheer is a very physical sport. A lot of people can get hurt easily if things aren't done properly. You should expect injury. <laughs> and injury is kind of part of the game. It's kind of just how it goes. A uh, fist to the face on Tuesday, an elbow on Wednesday, a tailbone on Friday. So for bases, they get a lot of like fists and feet, hips. Back spots get a lot of like spines to the face. It sure sounds so glamorous. No, but really. Okay, so this instance was a tailbone to the face. So I'm gonna jump right into the story. Now for the embarrassing part. I was cheering a sideline game in high school. It was dark, you know stadium lights super bright everyone can see you it was like a super easy dismount too i think it was just i honestly don't even remember if it was just like a smush or just like a regular cradle my flyer's tailbone landed right on my nose and usually i don't bleed very easily <laughs> so she dismount the stunt and then we like clean whatever everyone's like spiriting like yeah and I just saw black. I bent over, like holding my face because I thought I was about to pass out. And while I'm bent over, I just see blood drip onto the track. And my nose started, I've never bled so much from my body before. <laughs> also side note, if you're new here, my eyes water a lot. They're not really sensitive, they just kind of water, I don't know. And the wind's not helping, so. It looks like I'm crying, I'm not. Anyways, my nose starts gushing blood and I book it to the concession stand. And it's so embarrassing because I don't know why, but like my instinct was to like book it like to the bathrooms, which were like by the concession stand. When the athletic trainer was 20 feet behind me, I easily could have walked back and got like some gauze or something. But I ran to the concession stand and I don't know if there was like a big line for the bathroom or what had happened But I had remembered my mom was working the concession stand that night. So I went to her. I was like, I don't even remember It was <laughs> God, it's so embarrassing. But I tell my mom like mom. I know I think I broke my nose And the lady the other mom I was working there. She's like, whoa, you can't be in here Understandable. So yeah, just to recap the reason why I had I had booked it all the way over there is because I wanted to head to the bathroom so that I could like clean the blood off because there was so much and I didn't want to like gush blood in front of everyone. Anyways, most sporting events there's like an ambulance on like call kind of waiting for something to happen. So the ambulance was right there and I don't know why but the one mom was like suggested I just go to the ambulance to get some gauze. Like seems simple right? They made me go in the ambulance <laughs> <laughs> like take my information literally all they did was give me a wipe and some gauze and the worst part about this story not only the fact that i made a ginormous scene for a freaking bloody nose but two weeks later i got a bill in the mail for 250 dollars for this ambulance visit long story short it irks me to think about the scene i created and i don't even know why it was just like <laughs> I don't even know I didn't just go to the athletic tra trainer behind me, but I was... <laughs> okay, next story. I used to go to this um, dude ranch when I was younger a few times, like, for summer camp. I just absolutely fell in love with, like, the environment. Horses, taking care of animals, things like that. So basically, I really wanted to go to SIU, Southern Illinois University, because they have a pretty good ag program. And I wanted to cheer there. Didn't work out, but this is what was happening at the time. At this camp, there's groups. They're split into like boys and girls. Some of them are called like the cowboys for the younger ones. You get the gist of what I'm saying. And then there's like barn crew where it's like older kids, usually family or friends of the family of the owners of the dude ranch. 
I was at this college visit at SIU and <laughs> on like day two or maybe it was one, I'm not sure, there was this career fair specifically for agriculture in like the huge gym. Again, with the situation of I choked and turned into an alien. So I saw this girl and I started talking to her and she was basically like, have you ever like worked around like horses or anything? And I hadn't and I was like, I had just been to the dude ranch, like that's why I was going to school because I wanted to learn, I wanted to do all this stuff, but I hadn't physically worked in a barn before but i was embarrassed for some reason to say that to her so i don't know like why i lied or if i choked or if i worded it wrong but basically it ended up coming out of my mouth like i had worked at the dude ranch and she goes oh no way which one and i was like in my head i'm like there's no freaking way she knows about this place like nobody knows about this place it's but i said oh white pines ranch and she goes no way i worked there too horror my heart literally sank i was like how am i gonna come back from this one so she's like looking at me like into my soul and i can't tell if she like knew but she's like what summers did you work and then i said it like the summer i was there and she's like me too i was like are you playing me so she was like what part did you work in and like i was there too so i was assuming she was under the impression i'm at like i worked in the barn crew which is what she was doing that same summer she was basically like oh yeah i don't remember seeing you i was like i went yeah um i was like by like the cowboys and like the little kids and stuff <laughs> that's such a lie i don't know how she wasn't oh anyways to make it worse somehow she didn't know that i was just completely fibbing at that point because i choked so i was like oh my god i i'm so embarrassed like i have to keep going along with this but everything that i was saying <laughs> it was like i had to keep saying more there was this event in one of the ag classrooms later for when we toured the building and she was like yeah you should stop by like you should totally come and i was like um okay see you there i ran up to my mom later in horror i was like oh my god mom i just did this like i felt so guilty for lying because i i'm not a person who can lie like i i just can't do it like i just doesn't work for me so i was just like so mad at myself that i didn't just like tell the truth anyways we went back to like tour the building of like classrooms and she was there and she like waved to me and i'm like oh my god needless to say i'm kind of happy i didn't end up going there because she would have eventually had to find out that i was lying yeah also just a side note these are my tomatoes i'm fully aware it's too early to plant them outside but it's kind of nice so i'm letting them get some natural light out here i've been redoing the deck we got a new runner carpet um i bought a cage for my tomatoes i want to do peppers and flowers the whole nine okay the last story this i've actually had nightmares like from this event it was one of the worst days of my life okay so in my adult late teenager life this one definitely takes the cake so in high school my team got the chance to cheer for a northwestern university basketball game so the reason this opportunity sort of came from what i gathered is the actual building at university was being renovated so they were using this other arena near it let's just say that so basically high school teams are having the opportunity to like cheer for the basketball game like broadcast it on tv everything really the only backstory i can give on this is in eighth grade i was voted most clumsy even though we were a high school team we had to still do everything that the regular cheer team would have done such as running the flags out that spell wildcats you know like huge tall heavy flags i was one of the people picked to run the flags i was like oh yeah it'll be fun making the jokes which the reason why this happened is i didn't knock on wood so we were making the jokes like if anyone were to fall it'd definitely be me 
we were all lined up with the letters like each flag had a letter to spell wildcats and we were all in a line the way it worked is the flags would run out before the basketball players so the tv that's broadcasting it to live television is or the camera i mean sorry is right there they like give us the okay we start running and out of nowhere i fall so hard i don't even know if i hit the person in front of me with the freaking metal but it was mortifying i knew the camera was right there and this stadium was freaking packed everyone was like looking over me and i was just literally in horror i scraped my knee so bad like it got so infected later on because that carpet was disgusting but in the moment <laughs> i just tried to like get up as soon as i can and i wanted to like run back and hide in the bathroom or something but i couldn't because the basketball players were coming out after so i was literally just trying to crunch to the side like into the people as much as i could and blake actually has a video because he's watching it on tv of me standing like this oh. i can't even laugh at this one because it honestly just makes me want to cry still <laughs> when he got super infected i think that cursed me because later on in the season i actually injured the same knee in a competition while we were performing and it just the irony of it all is I was holding the flag with the L on it. <laughs> um, mortified. To make matters worse, my coach was mad at me that I fell. I was like, I'm literally a 17 year old girl who just fell and is like dripping blood from my leg and horrified and whatever. It was just not a good day. Anyways, those were my embarrassing stories for now. If you want, I can do a part two because apparently my life is just a series of unfortunate events, but it makes people laugh, so. As always, if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And thanks for having your morning coffee.